Hi guys, today we are diving into how the new union budget affects long-term capital gains on real estate transactions. According to the new budget, the long-term capital gains tax on property has been reduced from 20% to 12.5%. However, there's a significant change. The new regime does not allow for indexation. Let's look at an example to understand the impact. You bought a home 10 years ago for Rs 50 lakhs and now you're selling it for Rs 1 crore. Under the new regime without indexation benefits, your capital gain is calculated simply as selling price is equal to Rs 1 crore, purchase price is Rs 50 lakhs. So therefore capital gain will be Rs 1 crore minus 50 lakhs is equal to Rs 50 lakhs. The tax on this capital gain is 12.5% of Rs 50 lakhs, which amounts to Rs 6,25,000. Now let's see how the old regime would handle this. The purchase price of Rs 50 lakhs from 10 years ago adjusted for inflation is around Rs 79 lakhs. Capital gain is equal to selling price minus index purchase price. That is Rs 1 crore minus Rs 79 lakhs is equal to Rs 21 lakhs. The tax under the old regime is 20% of Rs 21 lakhs which is Rs 4 lakh 18,000. As you can see under the new regime, the tax liability is Rs 6,25,000 whereas under the old regime, it would be 4,18,000. So without indexation benefits, you end up paying more in taxes. In conclusion, while the new budget reduces the tax rate, the removal of indexation benefits means a higher tax burden on long-term capital gains for many real estate transactions.